Hey all, Heba here. So uh, today I'm going to show you how you can build your own creations in LEGO 2K Drive. And uh, to do that you have to go into the garage section of the game. And uh, in here you will see every model that you have picked up in the game so far, or that you have bought online, or that you have potentially built yourself. And uh, they're under different uh, categories like creations, unlocked, LEGO City, LEGO Creator, and I'm assuming later LEGO Technic and all the other stuff. But as it is now, you can pick anything in here to uh, fiddle around with, really. There's a lot of funny looking uh, things, and especially some of the uh, vehicles that you win in races when you're playing the uh, like the actual game uh, are quite interesting, actually. Like this uh, P-59 thing here, and uh, also the, the Space Explorer rover here. There's lots of other stuff. I have barely scratched the surface of the uh, core game. But uh, so far, I've won a few things, and like I said, you can edit everything that you want. And uh, that's the good thing about this game here. So uh, to build a new vehicle, uh, you just have to click the Create button and choose if you want a street, off-road, or a boat. In this case here, we want to build an off-road 4x4. So uh, first, we have to pick the bottom, like the uh, chassis here with wheels, and it also kind of determines how big you can create your... Um, vehicle here really so if you want to build something big it's smart to start off with a big uh, like chassis so uh, if you want to change uh, or anything about the chassis you can you can even change the wheel size and uh, you don't have to have the same size on each axle like uh, if you want to have big wheels on the back and small wheels on the front you can totally do that it doesn't matter at all like the game is very flexible when it comes to this and uh, it's uh, it's actually impressive how uh, detailed this part of the game is like the actual racing perhaps a little bit too simplistic but uh, the building part is actually really awesome so uh, you can also choose your horn sounds and your engine sounds and of course the stats and uh, the stickers the stats are a little bit more uh, detailed so we'll do that in a separate video but just uh, to leave it at that you can pick your stats in here and add them to the vehicle if you want to so uh, to build the vehicle is also very simple all you gotta do is to go into the build section and pretty much just start building really. Like there's a lot of basic stuff for you to get started with, like uh, like square blocks, accents, adjustables, and uh, there's even uh, a quite a good selection of Technic Lego in here as well. So uh, you can build some more, you know, fantastic stuff here. There's also lots of hoods and windshields and sides and windows and seats and all sorts of stuff. And, uh, you know, you can build some, um, some quite amazing stuff in here really like uh, and if you want to in the store you can buy packs of additional bricks i don't really know why you would want to do that at least not yet because none of the stuff available is really that amazing so uh, the actual process of building is very simple you just pick the brick you want to you know put on the car and uh, then you kind of arrange it in the spot where you want it which sometimes can be a little bit uh, <laughs> difficult because uh, it is a little bit tricky to see the, the small details here but after a while you get a hang of it and uh, you do it really really quickly so uh, there's no limitations at all here and uh, a really good thing is that you don't have to worry about structural integrity with these uh, models here it's not like in real life you can just make them so they look cool and you don't have to worry about stuff being flimsy or anything like that because uh, you know it's a game it doesn't matter at all as long as as long as it looks cool right and uh, that's a good thing because you only have 350 bricks to make this work so uh, that way you can focus only on how this how the car actually looks you don't have to worry about you know is the seat attached or does this work in the right way or something like that you just have to uh, have to make it look cool so uh, speaking of making things look cool of course you can also change the color of individual bricks you can do that as you're building or you can build the whole thing first and then change the color afterwards and i would suggest the latter because uh, that way it's just easier and uh, there's a fair amount of colors to choose from there's flat and there's also um, like bright actually like luminescent blocks and there's also transparent and uh, you know all sorts of, uh, of of cool ways of you know adding a little bit of personality to your build if they aren't already personal enough so uh, once you're happy with your build and we'll just put the seat in here as a final touch uh, you can choose to save it, uh, or you can also choose to test drive it should you want to. 
And I don't know if you noticed here, but in this case here, I've actually mis by mistake built the car pointing the wrong way. But <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. I mean, the ca the game is flexible. As you can see, we're we are driving the the opposite direction as I was uh, expecting, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. And uh, this is where I mean that uh, you, you can be as creative as you want. You don't really have to worry about if things are actually going to work in real life. And uh, of course, you can also put in as much time as you want to. Now, this is a very simple car here but uh, if you want to put in you know some effort and build some cool uh, vehicles you totally can so here's one uh, i'll show you one i prepared earlier here that i tried to actually you know make an effort on this uh this kind of land rover here it didn't really turn out the way i wanted it to because uh, uh you know the bricks run out fairly fast and um the models are really too small to be able to build in all the intricate details that I wanted. But still, I mean, it's fine. And uh, it looks like a four-wheel drive and I'm quite happy about it. And just like the other car, you can also take it out for a test drive easily. Just from the editor, just say, I want to test drive this car. And uh, off you go. It's super easy. And uh, if you don't like anything about the car, you just uh, stop test driving. You go back and you fix up whatever it is that you don't like. So uh, any cars that you win or buy or in some other ways get your hands on, you can modify and totally rebuild in the game if you want to. So, uh, you know, some of the things are very strange and unfortunately it looks like uh, the models that you get your hands on uh, that aren't part of brick packs, you can't actually use the modules that you would like the bricks that you would like to for example from this boat here like they only belong to the boat which is a little bit disappointing but surely they'll fix that up later in the game so uh, this boat here is a dlc boat i bought it and uh, as you can see you can do anything you want to you can completely change it you can change all the colors you can change anything about it or you can totally rebuild it really um but uh like total flexibility and if you have the time and you have like three four hours you can build some really cool stuff here and uh, the game will tell you if whatever vehicle you're building won't work out. Like, for example, you can't have just bricks floating in air, for example. But other than that, it's up to you. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you out there.